transport. Everyone should have convenient, affordable options to get around, whether to get to work or the shops, or to go to school or hospital, to visit friends and families, or to access other services. A safe, reliable transport system is vital for economic prosperity in all parts of the country, and improving transport is essential to combat climate change and air pollution. Conservative ministers have badly neglected our transport infrastructure. Their chaotic U-turns have seriously undermined the rail industry, electric vehicle manufacturing and regional development. They have failed to roll out electric charging points at anything like the speed necessary, and they have left local bus routes in rapid decline. Roads are in a terrible state, with potholes everywhere. By investing in electric vehicles and clean public transport, as well as encouraging walking and cycling, Liberal Democrats will enhance local, regional and national connectivity while boosting the economy, protecting the environment and improving public health. We will make it cheaper and easier for drivers to switch to electric vehicles by rapidly rolling out far more charging points, reintroducing the plug-in car grant and restoring the requirement that every new car and small van sold from 2030 is zero emission. Freeze rail fares and simplify ticketing on public transport to ensure regular users are paying fair and affordable prices. Significantly extend the electrification of Britain's rail network, improve stations, greatly improve disabled access, reopen smaller stations and deliver northern powerhouse rail. Boost bus services by giving local authorities more powers to franchise services and simplify funding so that bus routes can be restored or new routes added where there is local need, especially in rural areas. Transform how people travel by creating new cycling and walking networks with a new nationwide active travel strategy. Give more of the road's budget to local councils to maintain existing roads, pavements and cycleways, including repairing potholes. Invest in research and development to make the UK the world leader in zero-carbon flight and take steps to reduce demand for flying. In addition, we will make it easy and cheap to charge electric vehicles by rolling out far more charging points, including residential on-street points and ultra-fast chargers at service stations, supporting new charging points with an upgraded national grid and a step change in local grid capacity, cutting VAT on public charging to 5% requiring all charging points to be accessible with a bank card. Protect motorists from rip-offs, including unfair insurance and petrol prices. Boost bus services by supporting rural bus services and encouraging alternatives to conventional bus services where they are not viable, such as on-demand services. Maintaining the £2 cap on bus fares while fares are reviewed. Replacing multiple funding streams with one integrated fund for local authorities for expanding bus services and switching to zero emission vehicles. Extending current programmes to encourage local authorities and bus operators to switch entirely to zero emission buses. Make rail a genuinely convenient, affordable and environmentally friendly option for both passengers and freight by urgently establishing a new railway agency, a public body which would help to join up the industry from track to train, putting commuters first, holding train companies to account and bringing in wholesale reform of the broken fare system. Being far more proactive in sanctioning and ultimately sacking train operators if they fail to provide a high-quality public service for their customers exploring the introduction of an annual pass for all railways, improving accessibility at stations through the Access for All programme, delivering Northern Powerhouse Rail to connect cities across the north of England, reviewing the Conservatives' cancellation of the northern leg of HS2 to see if it can still be delivered in a way that provides value for money, including by encouraging private investment or if an alternative is viable. 
working with local authorities to implement light rail schemes for trams and tram trains, where these are appropriate solutions to public transport requirements. Establishing a 10-year plan for rail electrification to increase the number of passenger journeys covered by electric trains. Investing in other zero-carbon technologies, including batteries, and ensuring all new rail lines are electrified as standard. Introducing a national freight strategy to move as much freight as possible from road to rail, supported by a freight growth target and electrification of freight routes. Introducing an international rail strategy to support new routes and operators and permitting other operators to use the Channel Tunnel and HS1. Make public transport more affordable for young people by extending half fares on buses, trams and trains to 18-year-olds. Working with operators to introduce a young person's bus card, similar to the young person's rail card, giving 19 to 25-year-olds a third off bus and tram fares. Reduce the climate impact of flying by reforming the taxation of international flights to focus on those who fly the most while reducing costs for ordinary households who take one or two international flights per year. Introducing a new super tax on private jet flights and removing the VAT exemptions for private, first-class and business-class flights. Requiring airlines to show the carbon emissions for domestic flights compared to the equivalent rail option at booking. Banning short domestic flights where a direct rail option taking less than two and a half hours is available for the same journey, unless planes are alternative fueled. Placing a moratorium on net airport expansion until a national capacity and emissions management framework is in place and opposing the expansion of Heathrow, Gatwick, Luton, Stansted or London City airports and any new airport in the Thames estuary. Devolve greater decision-making powers and resources to local authorities in England to design public transport infrastructure around community needs – including powers to introduce network-wide ticketing, as in London. Work to integrate bus, rail and light rail ticketing systems so that a daily fare cap can be introduced for those taking several trips per day. Promoted by Liberal Democrats. 1 Vincent Square, SW1P, 2PN.